Good evening, ladies. It's me, Ashley, with Washington's TTC Journey. I'm coming to you with my HSG experience. <sighs> Where do I begin? <clears throat> okay, so I had an appointment for my HSG at noon. I got there at 11.55, um, waiting on my wife. She's always procrastinating. Um, got there, we waited maybe about 15 minutes before being seen, getting our insurance information and some additional signatures. Once then, I was given this little handy-dandy bracelet that I wanted to wait to take off before, um, until I did this video. Um, given my, um, bracelet, medical bracelet for the procedure um i then waited maybe about five minutes before being called to the back when i was called to the back um the nurse asked me you know if i was scared or you know anything did i look at any horror stories on the internet and i told her well i did do some research and a lot of people were saying just to take you know some pain meds deep breathing and everything should be okay she was like, good. Okay, so we got back to the, um, I guess you can call it exam room, x-ray room. And um, she gave me two gowns for the dressing room. Okay, you only had to get um, undressed from the waist below. But being that I had a dress on and didn't want to get any um, dot on my dress, I just decided to disrobe completely <clears throat> um so once i disrobed um let's see i sat on the table and she pretty much walked me through the whole procedure i might try to relax as much as possible try not to think negative and do a lot of deep breathing and just you know, not to tense up because they said if you tense up, it's worse. Okay, so my reproductive endocrinologist, my RE, came in to do the procedure. Um, he then went over the procedure with me again, and I told him, okay, I'm completely comfortable, you know, with everything I understand, exactly what is to be done. He asked me when was the start of my cycle, when was the end of my cycle. Um, made sure that I took the Clomid on cycle days three through seven and the antibiotics twice a day, um, starting Sunday, which was the day before procedure. Um, I verified that I did everything as instructed. He was like, well done. Okay. So, laid on the table. First off, um, it, it's like going for a pap smear I'm gonna say that but it does not feel like having a pap smear done and I'm gonna be completely honest I know that everyone says that you know some people it hurts some people it does not I'm gonna be honest it hurt it hurt very very bad um he had me scooch to the end of the table put my legs on like some, it wasn't stirrups, but the place where stirrups are supposed to go. So I had my, my feet resting on that. Um, he then inserted the speculum. From the speculum, he um, swabbed and cleaned my cervix. Once that was done, he clamped open my cervix so that it was wide enough to fit the catheter through. Once the catheter was in and to the part of the uterus that he wanted the catheter to be was when the cramping started. He hadn't even inserted the dye yet. I'm sorry, injected the dye. The cramping had started from the moment that he clamped open my cervix. That was not too painful, but it was very, very uncomfortable. 
Okay, so at that moment, I started doing the deep breathing in through my nose, out through my mouth. Um, my wife was in there with me. She's like, hold my hand. So I'm holding her hand, but honestly, what happened next, I don't even think I was prepared for. So once he injected the dye, it was in, like, I can't even describe the pressure and the pain that came along with the dye going up through my uterus and flowing out of the fallopian tubes that pain was the worst I tried to come off the table my wife had to hold me down because I was in tears because it was that painful to me that I could not tolerate it and it wasn't like, oh, he just injected a little bit of dye and everything was good. No, he had to go for a second time to ensure that he had put enough in. The cramps were unbearable. These were cramps like I've never felt before. So once that was done, um, they have an x-ray machine. When he's doing the dye, it comes over like the top of you and it stops right in the center by your belly so while the dye is being injected um it is taking pictures it's like a uh, it's an x-ray but it's kind of like video hmm, i guess you could say it like that so it's it's going while he's doing the injection okay once he pulls the catheter out you know he has you lay there for like maybe a minute or two and then you know while I was laying there, he was like, okay, let me show you. Let's see what the results are. Okay. He showed me a picture of my uterus. There was no abnormalities in my uterus. No inconsistencies. Everything looked excellent. Everything was great. Okay. When it got to my fallopian tubes, um, he was kind of fast forwarding so that I could see the, the dye flow out. Um, I saw that it was flowing out faster on, uh, my right side versus my left side. Um, there was no blockages. There was no, sorry for the movement. There was no blockages, no polyps, no cysts, um, nothing there. It, I guess it's just the way my tubes are set up. I'm not sure, but the dye flowed out of both sides, my left and right, perfectly. So he's like, everything's a go. Everything looks wonderful. Okay, so that was like a sigh of relief because I was like, all that pain just for those little bit of, you know, seconds of gratification and, you know, clarification that everything is excellent. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, once the procedure was done, you know, they have you sit up slowly because some people do tend to get, um, dizzy, lightheaded, nauseous type of feeling from the iodine. I was fine. I was still, I think, traumatized from the pain because I didn't expect for it to be as bad as it, as it was. Now, I did read some horror stories, but I try not to focus on the horror stories. I kind of focus more on the ones that were like, oh, it didn't hurt. It was painless. Da -da -da -da. I don't know what they was on. I, me personally, I had took three Tylenol. And I know that's more than what I should be taking. But, you know, just to ensure that everything, you know, I, I could take it. That didn't work. It did not work at all. So um, once I stood up, the iodine and TMI moment, blood started rushing down. Um, they excuse me to the bathroom so that I could clean. They provide you, you know, wipes and stuff like that. I did bring my own pads because, you know, a lot of people are like, bring a pad bring a pad so I brought my own pads um the bleeding is kind of medium um it's not heavy but it's not light um I do find it to be 
more kind of mucusy. Um, and it's like you can tell the difference between the iodine and the, um, <sighs> what am I looking for? And, and I guess the blood, you can tell the difference. Um, the blood, uh, it, it's really, it's, it's, the cramps are not really as bad. You do cramp and I'm really crampy, very sore, achy type feeling down below and um I noticed a couple times when I've used the bathroom that there were uh clots very small itty bitty clots um so I guess that's a good thing so any blockage or whatnot you know small even though it may not have caused any issues that was in my tubes has been flushed free and he did two flushes, so that was a good thing. But I just wanted to let y'all know my HSG experience. Um, I will be going on for my Cycle Day 12 ultrasound Thursday. So I'll be giving an update. Hopefully I can record while I'm in there so that y'all could see everything. If not, I'll just have my wife record. Um, but until next time, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, it feels kind of good to be making videos. I feel like I'm making more progress than what I was um, prior, you know, without uh, doctor supervision, proper doctor supervision. I'm put that that way because my OBGYN was horrible. But Dr. Bloom is great. But um, just remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a great day. Mwah.